and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're making homemade pie crust. And this is going to be a two-part pie crust, so either two bottoms or a top and a bottom. And it's a very simple recipe. I have weighed on the scale at 281 grams. Uh, I have two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. When it gets when you get into baking, like precision-wise, it's best to weigh your flour because sometimes the cup measurements can be off depending on how you scrape the top. So I have two and a quarter cup of unbleached all-purpose flour. I have one teaspoon of kosher salt. I have ice cold water. Uh, we're not going to use the ice cubes, but we are going to use the ice cold water. I also have two sticks of butter that I kept in the freezer and then I chopped them up and then also put them back in the freezer. So everything needs to remain ice cold. That's kind of the key to this pie crust. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the flour into the, the food processor. I don't know if I mentioned the food processor part, but it makes making uh, pie crust a little bit easier. If you're too scared to do this, that's fine too. Uh, you can just buy pie crust from the store and that will work as well. But I found this pretty easy. So I'm going to add the salt into the flour. We're going to pulse it a couple times. Just to get the salt involved in there. And then we're going to add our chunks of butter and we're going to pulse the food processor and chop these up until they're finely sort of like pebbles. You'll start to feel when the food processor stops kicking back uh, is kind of when you're done <laughs> chopping up the butter. You'll, it's definitely something you'll be able to feel. And then after that we'll start adding our ice cold water. Uh, six to eight tablespoons is the water until the dough is going to resemble like a, a coarse sand, like a wet sand. But let's start with the butter first and kind of go from there. at the same time or patting your head, however that works. We're going to go ahead and pulse and put in six to eight tablespoons of ice cold water. <laughs> consistency of wet sand. At least that's what it feels like to me. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out onto this parchment paper and you'll see it, we do have the blade attachment and what a wonderful mess that it makes. Now we're going to form this 
into a ball, and you can feel it's moist. Maybe use the uh, parchment paper to aid in the balling up process. So you don't dirty your counter so much. This is where the fun part of the operation continues. So you're going to make it into a ball, supposedly. It's not going to feel like it's going to cooperate, but it will eventually. Whatever little bits we lose, that's fine. Well, uh, every time I film this part, it's hilarious because it just does not want to take. No matter what, no matter what we do. So we have a rough we have a rough lump and we're going to take that rough lump and we're going to chop it in half. So we're going to take one of these <laughs> as it as it falls apart and gets less and less, that'll be easier to work with, right? We're going to take this and we're going to try to flatten it out into a round. Now these cracks and things that you're seeing down here, this is what exactly what you don't want. You don't want any of those cracks, also known as fissures. <laughs> when it comes time to uh, to make this into, to roll this out, uh, we definitely don't want these cracks. It's not as bleak as it seems. It looks very bleak right now, but you'll see that when we <laughs> When we roll this out, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be this bleak because this this dough is going to rest in the fridge for a while, uh, wrapped in plastic wrap. We're just going to get it to the halfway home point here, and uh, when we do, we'll wrap that in plastic. We're going to do the same thing with this quagmire. Yes, it does not look good. However, looks can be deceiving in the kitchen, uh, as you may or may not know. So we're going to go ahead and work our way, work this into a flat as well, into a disc. Pushing these, <laughs> pushing these cracks together. Again, I know, looks bleak, but in the end, this is all going to... Uh, work out rather swimmingly. We're going to move this out of our way here, like so. We're going to clear up a little space. I'm going to get some plastic wrap in motion here. The plastic wrap is going to be our savior, so to speak. A little plastic wrap goes a long way, and it's going to, it's going to help us out. We'll be able to flatten this down a little bit, and then as far as those cracks in the edges, we're going to really pull this taut, and it's going to help us <laughs> cinch up some of these cracks. We're also going to flatten this a little bit. Pay no, <laughs> pay no attention to the man behind the, the curtain. Uh, this will actually, this will work out good. We're going to just wrap this really tightly in the plastic wrap. We're going to throw it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to let it rest. And in the end, <laughs> maybe not this one. That one's not a good one. In the end, it, it might work out. You see we're still losing. Now it's starting to warm up a little bit. Still not, still not very good. This is a horrible demonstration, but uh, <laughs> in the end, it should work out all right. Yeah, I would just buy store-bought pie dough, and that's, that'd be the 
that'd be the smart move there. This thing's just falling apart on me. It's getting way too warm. Again, the key is to keep everything cold. A little more plastic wrap. Also, uh, a lot of this also has to do with how the humidity in your house or apartment is. Humidity uh, ranks up there. Uh, my set designer, she likes to keep the place ice cold, especially in the fall, and that may or may not have something to do with this. But or I'm just a horrible cook, and that's just the way it works. Actually, this is this will <laughs> will work out okay. So again, just seal this up in plastic wrap. Let it sit in the fridge for three hours, two, three hours, or even overnight. And uh, the next day you'll be able to make beautiful pies uh, in no time. Again, looks bleak, but it's not. There we have it. Thanks again for tuning in to Crazy Dave's Messed Up Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Try this mess at home. I think you'll really enjoy making a big mess and uh, having it work out. 50-50. So we'll see you all next time. Thanks again for tuning in.